Zayo still in late too. Hey y'all, it's your girl Love. Welcome to Love's Midnight Fantasy. I'm here in the building. So, it is time for my show. Two to three. I'm sorry I'm late. You guys, you know I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late. I know y'all can hear the music playing in the background. My bad about that. But I am here and I have the lovely... Tudika Tyree. Hey, y'all. And she just visited for a minute. The topic for today, y'all, is what's harder? Moving on, letting go, or starting over and why? And don't forget why, because I want to know which part of this is so important to you. What do you think? I think starting over is harder and I say this because we get so used to we get accustomed to certain things doing stuff a certain way um certain people and just to have just to have to start over and do something new that's scary so starting over for me would be the hardest uh I think the hardest is probably for me letting go because see like uh me you guys obviously you know my name is love so i'll say the hardest part for me is letting go because when you put so much time effort and love into somebody mm -hmm. and it's like that that takes a lot time effort love all the time money spent time spent years months that add up and that i think that's the hardest part for me because you don't want to let go when you built up all this is like i spent all this time trying to work on this stuff doing mm -hmm. this stuff and then it's like okay now it's like over so what what was i doing this for exactly. like that don't even make sense see i don't have a problem with letting go sometimes i get a sense of relief when i let it go but when you start over say relationships speaking of relationship yeah. When you start over into a new relationship, you still have those scars from your past relationship that you may have let go of and you free from that now. But to start over into something new is some fear there. So that's why it's like, oh, do I want to do this again? Do I want to yeah. go this yeah. route again? So, yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Like, ooh, we starting over because you be used to doing stuff and then you be like, OK, I can't let him know. I don't know what he yeah. going to think if I do this or if I just let loose, I don't know what he's going to think because y'all know me. I like to get loose. I like to drink my douce. I like to be me. I like to be loud sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm real quiet, so you never know. And then sometimes I'll be like, woo, it's party time. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then I know I know my boyfriend be like, what's going on? <laughs> like, right. Yeah, but I think it's mostly about the attachment part. Because yeah. when we get attached to people, I think that we don't want to leave people. Because mm -hmm. we like so attached to them and we used to being around. Especially like, it's, it's hard when you live with somebody. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yes, because you, you see them every day. Mm -hmm. If you live with somebody, you see them every day. I think that's why I say letting go. Because you live with them, you've been with them, you know all their habits. It's mm -hmm. like, it's way different. But I could also say that um, <clears throat> moving on, I think when you let go, then you move on. I think that's easy. Because when you let go, mm -hmm. you you did it. that's the hardest part. Yeah. You let go, you be like, okay, you feel like Chris Brown. I'm finna go get some. <laughs> mm, I'm finna go get some new, new. <laughs> I can feel that. I can right? feel that. Yeah. You, uh, what he say? Go run it in the club. You can <laughs> see me so run it, run it. <laughs> 
Right. It's like a certain when you let go, I think it's a certain sense of freedom. Yeah. Especially if yeah. you like in a messed up relationship mm-hmm. or something. It's just been like it's not like in the beginning it's just going straight down and mm-hmm. down and down and you can't pull it up. It definitely makes a difference. So definitely. Yeah, I don't start it over. It's the process. Yeah, Thank start you. it over. Yeah, I don't like I, it's parts of starting over I don't like too yeah. cause then it's like you gotta teach people what you like what you don't yeah. like and then they don't know and then and then you know sometimes in the beginning they be like remember when and I'll be like no that wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> wrong who was shit. that girl you're talking about <laughs> and what did you guys do so I can know for the future <laughs> because yeah I wanna know what type of person you are so if you yeah tell me all that <laughs> I can feel that. Yeah. So how are you doing today, Tadika? I'm good. I'm happy to be here shadowing your show oh, for thanks. the first time. Girl, this is not the first time. It the is, first time for me oh, to be yeah, here. It so. is. Yes, on my show. It is. Yes, because yes. Jeremy came the first day. Yes, and you so were I'm supposed excited. to come. I know. I'm yes. sorry. I'm here now. I'm excited to be here. Yes, y'all. So <laughs> we want to know you guys' opinion. So if you could comment like share and look we were just talking about the great jeremy and here he walks in (laughs) anyway y'all so i got some comments i got one from roy hayward he says he says starting over because you got to learn another person and that takes time which i agree i could definitely agree with that um take starting over it does it takes time to learn people and then some people say like you really don't know a person until you've been with them for a year and i can say that maybe not a year but within a couple of months a day to somebody you definitely learn a lot of facts and new things about them that you didn't know before Mm -hmm. and that really helps you see the signs it's like if the signs of a person by learning them mm-hmm. and sometimes we don't want to take the time to learn people that's why we don't want to start over or we stay in a relationship we're in so mm-hmm. that's how starting over could be hard because you know relearning doing something you know and not being not doing stuff that you used to do it and then all of a sudden it's like you don't do it no more because you're not with that person so we have another comment from Akila Shabri, and she says, "Moving on because you gotta let go of the hurt and the good memories, and until you let go, you can't fully commit to somebody new." Yes, I agree with that. And also, y'all, um, I'm sure you've heard me say, "See Dilla the Count," or if you listen to Windy City often, you hear that. That's a that's what he said. He said that you can't let you can't start over without letting go and you can't move on without letting go. Mm-hmm. So you can't do one without the other. That's what he's saying. You can't move on without letting go. But you can't you can move on without letting go. But is that really starting over? You know what I'm saying? Cuz don't people do that? They they move on, but they still hold on to people. Sometimes um, I, I feel like you can't. Re- you're not really moving on if you're still holding on to anything. So, right. So, did you see that post about um about the girl who was still part of this girl posted that she loved her boyfriend's uh, ex because her bro. I mean, loved her brother's ex <laughs> because the ex still stuck around a around the family showed up to family events Aww. and all that stuff and then everybody was commenting and debating, debating like he's been dead for five years how can she still come around and not be moved on so do well, do you think she has moved on and stuff or do you think she's still like well, stuck or not letting go if he's deceased and she built a relationship with his family then that's different now if she was just the ex and they broke up and he's with somebody else and you still around the family now that's a little creepy but he's deceased so i think it's different on that end so right she really doesn't want to let go she wants to be around his family that's different so i don't see a problem with that right and i think if you build a bond like a close bond because people are always saying you know you can be half family that's not blood i think if you have a close bond with somebody and they die you can still have a relationship with their family you Definitely. don't have to not be not 
not be letting go of them. You could still move on and have relationships with people. Yeah. I'm not saying like your ex, not your ex. You can move on and have relationships with people, not your ex. Okay, let's clarify that for some of you guys. Okay, we have another comment from Akila. She says, sometimes it's not just hard to let go of the bad memories. Sometimes it's, let, it's hard to let go of the new memories. Then you want to compare the new person. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, I can. Have you ever done that? Compare somebody to your Definitely. ex or to your new boyfriend? Definitely. Yes, Definitely. I have too. When I've been in a bad relationship, I always compared it to a good relationship. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't try to come back because I'm with somebody better. You did this, this, and that, and they do all of this. So leave me alone, you know? Yeah, <laughs> definitely make those comparisons all the time. Yes, because I don't know why we do that. But, guys, let me know what <coughs> you think. What is harder, moving on, letting go, and starting over, or why? Or is it all three of them? What is your opinion of this? Because... We want to know because on Love's Midnight Fantasy, this is where your wildest thoughts and dreams come true. Hi everybody, I'm Candy Gomez here at the Illinois Media School in Lombard. I am one of the newest people to join the staff here at the Media Advisors. I bring all my expertise. So now they can't hear us, they can only hear the music. Yeah, they can't hear us. I know, right? I, can, to to I don't have the right because if don't nobody click on this, so you know they this is your own personal page. Yeah, this way, I am. You gotta manipulate the system. Oh, you gonna pass your test? Don't worry. Y'all came to get five hours. Get these five hours. <laughs> you heard Cortez. I know. That's what I'm saying. You heard him earlier. He's telling they yes. All you gotta do is fill the paper out. Shit. He said I'm tired of getting. <laughs> Dang, they got the baby on here. Well, get some rest, you know. You know, you struggling out here with your sleep. Love you. Got iPhone? Mm -hmm. You got an iPhone? You got your charger? In my coat pocket. Uh, I'm gonna call you for about the social media. Okay. If you can um, download Adobe Spark Post. Spark Post? The thing Miss Z told us to download? Yeah, I get that on my phone. You know how to use it yet? Nope. But you know that's not gonna take that long. Yeah, I'll show you how to use it for your I've been so impressed with the way our students attack their work. From TV reels to radio shows, play by play. Are you taking your test out of the test? Yeah. Hey, everybody. The topic for today is what's harder, moving on, letting go, or starting over, and why. Please tell me your thoughts and ideas. Don't take nothing. I really 
It's actually my favorite song. Can I rap your video, No, not for of the day is what's harder moving on letting go or starting over and why please comment your answers let me know and i will share them Shit, if they got events and stuff, it might be. This is only three days a week. Well, I feel like you're there every day. Because I do more. Yoko! But I just get more consistent. Which is only three days a week. Well, I know he's definitely for sure interested in the interview because I asked him. Yeah, but I think that's the thing. I'm just letting you know I'm finna turn the mics back on in 45 seconds. Well, damn. Okay. You too. Deacon's here, still here. I thought she was leaving me, y'all. I'm staying. (laughs) Yes, she's staying. So I'm going to read some of these responses. We are, are, Tadika can help me since she decided to stay. We got the front side and the back, you know, the back side is from everyone here. (laughs) It don't matter if we read it out of order. But here, I'll give you all the people from here. That's Chuck's. This is some nice writing. (laughs) That's Chuck's. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's Chuck's. Well, maybe we might have to exclude his answer. I got this, maybe. Okay. Hey, y'all miss him. I mean, y'all missed a lot of phone calls on the school phone line. I'm sorry. I don't know why that just popped up. But, okay, so 
it, I mean, if you can't read, you don't okay. have to read. Just read whatever you can. Okay. Because I, I know some people, I'll be like, hey. Okay. You want me to go down? Yeah. Okay. So, the so Kendra Murphy, she says, I tend to hold on to potential and memories and the what could have been instead of looking at the reality of the situation. It takes me a minute, but I get there. So, um... I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? That she's answering the question, which is easier letting go. Oh yeah. She said she, she said letting go. Okay, letting go. go for and sure. this is why. Oh okay. yeah. Got okay. it. So letting go is hardest for her. Because she holds on to potential. potential. Okay, okay, yes. Hey cuz, how you doing? Okay, so I I actually don't know who put this, but it says I don't I think it depends on the person. For some moving on could be difficult simply because you're used to the situation and feel a sense of security. Letting go could be difficult because you're still emotionally attached and you still have some sort of hope that you may be able to salvage the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. She put some knowledge out here for y'all. Starting over can be difficult because you literally lose everything and have to start over from scratch in the midst of putting yourself together emotionally. I don't necessarily think one is harder than the other, but more dependent upon the person and how they deal with certain situations. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, they out here trying to tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jamila Moon. Hi, Jamila, if you're listening to this. She says that um, starting over... She actually says letting go. And she says letting go because it's an attachment thing. When you're so used to fitting in someone in your daily routine, it's hard to pull off and start a new routine. So, yeah. I can understand that. Okay, we got a MJ. He says, letting go is a part of moving on. So, I'll say those. And I said, he, I, I said okay, but why those? He said, because you... Because you just so used to the... Okay, I'm sorry, MJ. Okay, he said because you are just so used to the other person. I don't know what he typed, but that was that was supposed to be his reply. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Chuck said moving on is harder. Because if you've been with someone for a long period of time, you get used to that person as you grow together. But when you move on to someone else, you have to spend time with the person to get to know them. Then when you do get to know them, and you might not like what you have found out about the person. So, starting oh, yeah, over. I could agree. Because I have met some people that I liked, and then later down the line, I was like, who the yeah. is this demon sent straight <laughs> from the demon. underworld? <laughs> this mug turned into a demon. <laughs> That's how I be feeling sometimes. Like, yeah. some of y'all is Lucifer himself. Like, whoa. <laughs> gotta do one of these, okay? Gotta <laughs> that Lucifer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, let me shout out Raphael. He's in here. Let me shout out Drew. And hey. uh, I think this boy is Shaq. That's his name. Yeah, his name hey. is Shaq. Hey. I don't mess with you, Shaq, because... But... Shout you out, okay? I don't. <laughs> My God, baby, that's why you better take care of him. Anyway, let me tell y'all another answer. Dara says letting go because of attachments and memories, and then Roxanne says letting go. She said, "I don't know. It's just about bond and attachment y'all once had. Just be." hard to want to let it go because you don't know if you'll find it again hmm. oh yeah this that's true sad. that that i think she fell in love and they found Aww. no love again that is sad y'all know oh, i'm love so and i gotta share the love <laughs> okay well i got one from <clears throat> brooke but uh she's unnamed Mm -hmm. I feel like letting go is harder because it seems like you can never let it go because you're always reminiscing and thinking about all the memories you shared with each other. And I can agree with that. They do be the memories because sometimes y'all know how y'all get them flashbacks out of nowhere. 
Mm-hmm. And you know, you just start thinking about something, and you just get memories like running down the beach or something, <laughs> you know, or going to get ice cream or out to dinner. Like, you know, yeah. you, you know, it's little stuff. You could be at a restaurant and be like, oh man, we went to this restaurant before. Like, oh man, like this brings yeah. back a lot of memories. Like, we've been here a couple times, you know? So, mm-hmm. I can feel that. I, I made a huge mistake, y'all, because I was. I was holding on to the memories and all of that. So I called my ex. I'm not even going to say accidentally because <laughs> it was definitely on purpose. But I was holding Wait. on to these memories and I called them, tried to rekindle. And then as we were talking and we like linked up, I remembered why I had to let him go in the first place. So we ha- it may be hard, but we have to, you know, right. just remember the why we not with this person and then, you know. Yeah, we, y'all, that's what we call a on accident, on, on purpose. <laughs> we do it on accident, but it's on purpose, right. you know, because we know what we're doing. So that's what you call that. She called them on accident, but on purpose. Exactly. <laughs> and it was a huge mistake. Because it just went left. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Move yes. on. Let go, move on, then start over. Or how should that order go? <laughs> <laughs> Let go, go. Move on. And start yeah, over. In that order. Then start over. But you got you also in between letting go and starting over. Can you take a break in between yeah. two of those? Because if you just jump back in another mm-hmm. relationship, then you're gonna be like, oh. yeah, like probably feeling like you just want to leave a relationship again. And you guys, it's okay to be single and take time for yourself. I Definitely. people don't believe it. But I have been single for over a year, and over a year and six months. Yes, it is. Yes. Now, I said single, okay? I didn't say I wasn't doing anything. I said I was <laughs> single, okay? So, learn the difference, okay? <laughs> but, yes, you can do both, okay? So, if you need to let go of somebody, let them go. and. Yeah. Right. And pause. Some peace. Yes. And, and pause. On. Yes. And pause. And start over. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, y'all feel me. You know what we talking about. Just pause. Pose for the right. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Let me fan y'all. Okay. Here we go. We got another answer. I said, it says, I feel like if you truly were in love with your significant other, it makes it very difficult to fully let go. Moving on becomes extremely difficult if you feel like there's still hope left. So, yes, I could definitely agree like that. Have you ever experienced that? Like, you broken up, but you feel like it's still some hope or love to hold on to, girl? Yes, and that's why I ended up calling my ex, but... <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't. So maybe that was more out of love. So he was just playing, playing parts, playing sides or something. He was just being himself. Right. And I realized I didn't like himself, and that's why we broke up. So that was me not wanting to let go. So. Okay. Okay. We got an answer from Big Jeremy. Uh, he shall be unnamed. He says, all of them are just as hard because it all depends on the state of mind and how deep the relationship is. Moving on, letting go, and starting over is all a three-step process. However, starting over is a lot harder because you became accustomed to certain habits. I like that. Yes, yes. You do become certain to people's habits, the things they do for you, how they take care of you, how they interact with you, how they love on you. Mm -hmm. Because you be like, okay, somebody love on me, but this Mm -hmm. person don't love on me. Like, then you get to doing the comparing thing that we don't want to do. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see what else we got for you guys. It's hard. Okay, here we go. We got K. Dina. She says, um, all of them. She said, it's hard to let go of something you have been with for a very long time. I should say someone who taught you things, showed you things. Someone you shared important events with. Someone who was more likely your best friend. It's hard letting go knowing they might treat the next person better. Starting over now, 
you have to learn something new. Now they have to learn you. You don't know intentions they have and they don't know your intentions. Moving on is hard because if you know you should, but your partner is asking you to stay moving on, is hard because you know you are comparing the old to the new. So y'all, I really like y'all answers. Y'all get it deep in this. Deep, deep. I'll turn those ones over because we done with those ones. But if you want some more to read, yeah. You can read a couple more before we have to leave y'all. Okay. Alicia Fallon, she said, all three for me. When I love, I love hard. My dude was my man, my protector, my porn partner, comfortable in my skin and being intimate. And he was my best friend. He knew all her secrets. To start this all over will have her gagging because everyone don't have the same intent. So to do any of the above three blows me every time I think about it. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Okay. I like her answer. Okay, yes. I'm going to have to add you on Facebook and become your friend, girl, because we got stuff to talk about. Okay, you could make a conversation interesting. Mm -hmm. Comfortable in her skin. Right. Okay. It'd be hard to let him go too, Alicia. I ain't gonna. Yeah, look, uh, me too. I we gonna hold. We gonna hold him, girl. <laughs> hold on to him. And, but if he's toxic, let him go. <laughs> so we get we get Christina V, and she says all of these go hand in hand. But you have to let go before before you can achieve the rest. It's definitely harder to let go. Okay, well, y'all really sticking to the three of them together, huh? Delena Vershawn, she said letting go. Why? Because it, we can't curse. So it it almost <laughs> killed her, y'all. Not killed, but killed, killed her. Gave her a headache. She cried in tears, ducked out. Eventually, she just said, F it and stay with them because the pain was unbearable. The more he stalked her, the deeper she fell. She was such a loser yesterday. And she put some sad faces in there, y'all. And, cry, and some laughing, crying emojis and some female and male emojis. This guy has toxicity <laughs> written all over it. it. Okay. Elena, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That is not funny. But right. the way this comment is set up, uh, I don't. Y'all can't even see it, so it is no the, point. In the me more home. he stopped her, the deeper, deeper she, she fell. fell. That's like Joe, y'all. Y'all ever seen the uh, show You? I didn't see it, but I want to see. Girl, it. this man was killing people for his um lover. Oh goodness, was it's killing a whole people who would get in their way. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of feel Lena. like she got her a Joe. Yeah. If y'all seen you, y'all, I think y'all might agree. <laughs> we not judging Delana, but it sounds like both of y'all need to let go, move on, start <laughs> over, and hide and think fresh. Yeah. So we get, I got about three more minutes, y'all. So we'll go with. Natasha Renee. Okay, her name has a J in it for Natasha, so I'm sorry for messing it up. Okay, I feel like letting go is the hardest. Some may say that moving on and starting over are interchangeable. However, letting go is the first step needed to move on and start over. The fear of loneliness prevents us from letting go, however, letting go no matter how much we want to move on and start over. Now, I can agree with that yeah. a little bit. The loneliness. Yeah, sometimes we don't want to be lonely, and then we go, like, no, I'm going to yeah. stay. I really like this one. Ashley, she says, letting go. There's going to be moments where you miss them, feel lonely, or think it's easier just to go back. Once you get past all that, it's a wrap. Definitely. Oh yeah, I can agree. Once Definitely. you once that's what I'm saying. That's why I think letting go is harder. Cause once you let go, mm -hmm. then you be feeling like a million bucks. It's, Welcome back. Welcome yes. back. It's such a freedom in letting go. Yeah. So I definitely feel you, Ashley. You get that little two step going on with your little drinking, your smoking, you be like, Yeah, looking in the mirror like yeah. Girl, I think my butt in me. <laughs> and be looking at them like, What was I thinking? thinking. Like Okay, have y'all ever looked at an ex and then look back like I know I didn't date them. Yes. And then girl girl, yes. I oughta slap the out myself. 
for a couple of y'all. <laughs> what was I thinking? How did I even think you was cute? Man. <laughs> what did I even like about you? I said, I said, so. <laughs> what what attracted me to you? So, okay, we got our first male response. Well, not our first, but we got very few re male responses. I read some of y'all, but this one right here, we got another male. He's his name is Seven, and he says, "Letting go. It's like breaking." and addiction you have to be able to go on without the person you thought you would be your forever they were a part of your daily routine and now you're left with your thoughts and a million unknowns yes Aww. it's like breaking an addiction see that's like that's how you know that y'all really is in love out here and i love that <laughs> i love i don't love the fact that we're talking about letting go in the hurt and the pain but i could tell that y'all really been in love with somebody from mm -hmm. these responses and i love that because y'all it doesn't matter how many times you fall in love love is a beautiful thing even if you fall in and out of it constantly like um Ari Fletcher, but um, I'm not I'm not naming any names, but you know what I'm saying. You know, there are some women out here who fall in and out of love quick. I mean, that's just them, but it's still a beautiful thing because love is the best thing going around in this world. Yes, <laughs> well, me and Tadika would like to thank you thank guys you. so much for coming and joining us, and thank you for your comments and tuning in. Thank you for supporting us as we, you know, finish school and do our shows and Thanks all this for fun me stuff. Love. I oh have no, fun. Problem. you know I love you. You're my favorite. <laughs> this is literally my favorite from our group. So, oh, you guys can't see her. Yes, there she is. <laughs> that is my favorite. They can see you on Facebook Live. Okay. So, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you guys you know. for joining. Don't forget, I posted my flyer, so please share it on Facebook and tune in next Thursday. Because I don't know what I'm going to be talking about, but when it's just wherever your wildest thoughts and dreams come true. So who doesn't want to come there, right? <laughs> anyway, have a good day, guys. I'm going to play my favorite song as always for you when I'm leaving. So have a good day. Drive slow in this snow and be careful. You should come more, and you can still come on mine. I can come on you guys. Yes. About you. You ain't talking about they get class, but I'm turning this shit back up because this my song. About you. I don't know what I'm gonna do now because uh, I can't wait for these motherfuckers to me. I'm gonna find Cortez. Let me see. Oh, he gonna come in here. Are you gonna be in for two seconds? Yeah, I'm going to be in there. I hope it's not meant to be. I'm to see it and I just really hope I don't
you on my mind and thinking about you all the 